Hey, what's up guys? Mike here, back with another video. All right guys, give you guys a little bit of a February recap here. Bit of a tricky month here, guys. Had a lot of cold weather come through. Some real tough days out here on the, uh, the old Beaver Lake. But for the most part, guys, when the weather was nice, I was able to get out and catch quite a few fish, especially around the Montanay area. It looks like uh, we've had a little bit of a warming trend here, which is nice. Uh, water level is definitely up a little bit higher. What I've seen, guys, is most of those balls of bait fish have kind of dispersed a little bit. And they've went into these like first and secondary points a little bit sooner than I was gonna expect. But for the most part, guys, um, I'm thinking we're gonna have a pretty early spawn this year. If we keep having these like warmer days, warmer weeks, it's gonna keep bringing that water temperature up. Right now we're sitting about a mean 47, so uh, it, it's, it's kind of coming up pretty quick for February. Um, for the most part, guys, as far as baits go, what's been working for me, the Damiki's been working still a little bit here and there. Um, the fish have been uh, moving up quite a bit, so I'm catching most of my fish in like the 20 to 30 foot range. Definitely not as, as deep as what I was catching them uh, the last couple of weeks. However, I have noticed guys that a lot of the fish that I have been catching has been really tight on cover. So uh, if you guys are fishing any like trees, stuff like that, ledges, um, you know, steep banks, things like that, you're gonna have to fish really tight to cover. And I mean, bounce your jigs off those trees uh, if you're throwing like a wiggle wart, something like that, make sure it's constantly maintaining that contact with the bottom, even knock it through some trees here and there. Been throwing the jig a little bit. Jig's been working. Been uh, throwing in that green pumpkin color. I like it nice and heavy. Been slamming it around lots of cover, lots of trees. Been targeting a little bit of laydowns. That's been working for me a little bit. And I've also put on the DD22 in that red crawl color. Right now, guys, when it's about the 47 to 50 degree range, Oh, GoPro's going off in front. But anyways, um, the, the 50 degree range is usually that red magic color. So, But if you can tie on something that's red, you're going to catch yourself quite a bit of fish on that. It seems to be that that magic red color is really kind of what they're wanting when the, uh, the water gets out of the 40s and up into the 50s. So uh, if you got something red like a wiggle wart, you know, maybe a lipless crankbait, something like that, maybe even a red jig, that would work pretty good too. So definitely throw on the red. Um... A rig's been hit or miss. You know, if I can find like a little ball of bait fish somewhere, I'll toss the A rig in there, something like that. Definitely keep it tied on just in case, because you never know. And plus, the A rig's just fun to throw around. Um, your jerk bait fish is going to be, uh, you know, almost all year round, but jerk bait, pretty good thing to have tied on right now. Like I said, the Damiki, keep one of those tied on so I can uh, drop a right down on them. But, you know, any type of, you know, drop shot that you guys like to tie on. Have something like that on too so if uh you do come up on a big old ball of bait fish still you can just uh put right down on them and catch a couple other than that guys the uh the lake's on that warming trend so look for those uh first and secondary points and uh don't 86 out the uh the shallow bite it's kind of hit, hit or miss here and there but i have made my way back into some of the shallower coves some of those sandier you know pre pre-spawn slash spawn areas and caught quite a few fish so Mountain area is obviously a dynamite spot for that. It's a pretty sandy bottom over there. Got some super shallow flats. Um, but, you know, there's a bunch of spots like that here on Beaver. But that's primarily where I've been targeting, guys. Definitely be looking out for the Montanay area. As far as March goes, though, uh, the fish are a little, bit on a, a little bit on a move here. So they're making their way off the main lake. And they've kind of made their way back into the creek arms. Um, last week, I was in the, uh, the upper river areas like War Eagle and Hickory Creek. The water's pretty darn stained over there. So unless you're doing any like crappie fish or anything like that, uh, you might have a little bit of a tough time back in there. I sure did. So I'm staying away from there. I'm sticking to that cleaner water. And uh, so I'm primarily going to be up in this uh, Prairie Creek area. Maybe Horseshoe Bend a little bit. I still want to hit Montanay, but it's a little bit stained right now. So I'll give it a few days. Hopefully that water will clear up and then should be on like Donkey Kong over there. But anyways, guys, uh, water temperature is a nice 46. It's going to be going up. It's, uh, it's about 70 degrees today, last week of February. So we got some uh, some really nice weather on the way. And hopefully we can catch quite a bit more fish. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. If you did, stay tuned for more Beaver Lake fishing reports. And I'll keep you guys posted on what's been working for me. And uh, hopefully you guys like these videos. And if you do, if you guys got any questions, also drop them down in the box. And uh, let me know what's been working for you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!